Come on, you blasted thing. Oh, hey guys. Time Travel and Terry here again. This week, I want to tell you about television. But I've been having a bit of difficulty fixing my broadcast signal. I hope to have it sorted before you tuned in. Look, this isn't going to work, but I have an idea. The Time Traveler's Guidebook. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Hmm, television, television. Aha! Philo Farnsworth, the father of television. If there's anyone that can help me, he's it. Follow me, guys. Let's get this sorted. OK, time box. Date, 1927. Destination, San Francisco. Subject, Philo Farnsworth, the father of television. This looks about right. So, this is 1927, huh? Oh, look. It's Philip Farnsworth. Let's go say hello. Finally, it's completed! The damn thing works! Wow, oh, yes! Yeah. <coughs> oh, hello there. Hello. Yeah, you startled me there. <coughs> Are you from the newspapers? Actually, no, my name's uh, Terry. I'm a time traveller. I've travelled space and time seeking your help. Oh, really? Yeah, you see, I'm a, having a bit of trouble fixing my broadcast signal. It's gone all fuzzy and I can't correct it. Hmm. Well, funny you should mention broadcast signal, as I'm quite the whiz at that sort of thing. Philo Farnsworth was born in the US of A, in the state of Utah in 1906. By the age of just 14, he began sketching ideas for his invention, the electronic television. And by the age of 21, had a working prototype of this. Despite being the person behind the revolutionary device, he wasn't too sure how influential this device would be until he saw the moon landing in 1969, quoted to saying, this has made it all worthwhile. Have you, um, have you tried turning it on and off again? I'm a time traveller. Of course I've, um, actually, now that you mention it, um... So, Phila, what have you been working on today? Well, actually, I've just finished building the first all-electronic image pickup device. Wow, that's amazing! So if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have television. Can I see it? Uh, sure, here it is. This is the image pickup device right here. Wow, this really is quite special. Special? How so? You're about to revolutionise the way we communicate, the way we receive information, even the way we're entertained. Well, I find that hard to believe. It's true, and I'll prove it to you. Follow me, Philo. Um, what's this contraption? Oh, this is my time box. It's how I travel through space and time. It, um, looks a bit battered. Yeah, that's from the dinosaurs last week. We won't go into that. <sighs> Come on. Time box. Take us home. Mind your step, time travel makes you a bit funny. Oh, brilliant! My future self must have fixed the broadcast signal. So, can you see the cameras? You're on television right now. That's absurd. Come over here. This might help you understand. This is a model of the television studio where we filmed the Time Travel and Terry TV show. And if you guys want to make your own television studio at home, visit timetravelandterry.com and use the travel guide to create your own. 
Look, here are our three cameras that we use to record the show. Hmm. So, why are there three cameras? It doesn't take three, surely. Well, actually it does if you want to make a good quality show. Such as this. Each camera can be used to show different camera angles and positions. For instance, camera one is now being used for a mid shot. Camera two, being used for a wide shot. And camera three, being used for a close up. Whoa, well, I think that's a little too close, thanks. In fact, try giving one a wiggle. Okay, so when I do this, ah, I see. So if I move it back, and if I lift it up, oh, would you look at that? See? Why don't you come say hello to Amber? I operate for camera three. This camera. This, this is an amazing piece of equipment. This must have taken years to build. Thousands of hours of labour. Hundreds of technicians. Not in the future, Fila. Oh. These can be built in a matter of weeks. Oh. But there are thousands of people looking at you right now. If not millions. Millions? Well, I find that very hard to believe. Speaking of you guys, why not visit timetravelandterry.com slash philofax for all our fun philo facts. Um, uh, good day to you, madam. Um, what's that strange device you have strapped to your head? Um, may I? That's how the gallery communicates with the studio floor. Our director, Caprice, tells the camera op operators what positions and what angles she wants through those headsets. Hello? The oh. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. OK, sorry. She's an angry one. She's just very professional at her job. She has a show to run, you know. Here we have Jasmine, our floor manager. She communicates with the presenter, that's me, when the graphics are about to finish. In fact, why don't we take a trip into the gallery? Well, the music, sound, lighting and graphics are controlled. Follow me, Fila. This is where the director and gallery crew get to see what's happening on the studio floor. First off, we have Abby, who's in charge of the lighting. Then there's Kiki, who's running the show's graphics. One of the most important roles in the gallery is the director. Our director is Caprice. Next to her is JM, who is our vision mixer. Then we have Frankie, the show's production assistant. The person sat at the back is Adam, the producer. Next, the show's sound operator, Josh. And finally we have the person running the auto queue. Yeah. That about wraps everything up in here. JM, if you could send us back to the studio, please. So, uh, Fila, what do you think? Well, it is all rather impressive. But I don't see how the television can, what was it you said? Uh, Revolutionise the way we receive information. Well, if you need convincing, why don't you take a look at this? Here are just some examples of how te television has brought some of the most iconic images and events into our living rooms. Wow, the, 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 that was amazing. This has made it all worthwhile. Thank you, Terry, thank you. You're quite welcome, Fila, but really, thank you. After all, without you, none of this would even be possible. All right, it's time for you to go back to the past. Hmm. Or your present, or whenever. Okay. Um, just... One more thing. This studio does look very similar to my workshop. Except, um, less orange. 
Nah, you just use it and everything in sepia. Bye, Philo. Mm. Time box. Take Philo back to Massachusetts, please. Oh, I think you'll find, actually, that I'm from um, uh, San Francisco. No, hey. Whoa. Well, wasn't that exciting? We got to meet Philo Farnsworth, who was instrumental in creating the television. And you got to see how this whole show is made. Now you can get your friends involved at home to create your own television show. Well, tune in next time, guys. We'll be travelling back to 1799 to beat Napoleon Bonaparte. Bye for now.